Okay, let's continue on in our set building. So let's, um, the next thing we can do, let's work on our doorway here. Let's grab these two polygons, like so. And I'm gonna extrude them. Out like that. I'm gonna grab this top edge. I'm gonna pull it down. Grab these polygons and let's extrude them out some more. Like so. Let's grab this edge and let's just fool with this and work with it and work on it. And just extrude this out and just kind of make it look a little skewed. You know, not too much, but just give it that little off kilter look. Like so, and let's bring it on out. And we're going to scale it this time, like so, and bring it down and push it back, give it a little curve out, like so. Let's go ahead and extrude that again. And of course, we'll scale it down a tad. Move it down, push it back. And give it that curve out like that. Now let's go in here and just kind of work with our geometry and just kind of skew it a little bit. Now we've got two edges here so I want to make sure I go to my edge mode and I'm going to join them. So you see I got one edge, there's a two edge. So I join those. I just want to go through and make sure I don't have any extra geometry around. Now as you can see I selected that down here it says two edges. So I'll join those. Okay, now let's take this top edge. Move it down a little like this. Now we can take this one. Just move it up some. We're just kind of just skewing this a little bit, you know? Just to make it a little more curvy. Let's select this edge. We'll pull it out some like this. Okay. Now that's not looking too bad. So what I'm going to do is go to my polygon mode and I'm going to run loops around this and I'm going to select it. Like so. And I'm going to Command X and cut that out. But make sure you got all of them selected first. Okay. And I think I pretty much got all of those selected there. Pretty sure anyway. Let's cut those out. Now we've got some polygons there. I want to get rid of them. And I'm going to paste that geometry back in. Now we have a separate piece of geometry there that's not connected. And the reason I do that is so I can select it. I can go to duplicate. I can go to my mirror. Mirror in the X. And I can mirror it. And that will give me an opposite look. But that's not really the look I'm going for. I don't want it to come out like that unless that's what you want it to do. Okay. What I want to do is I'm just going to copy it. Command C. And I'm going to paste it with Command V. And I'm going to move it with the W key. I'm just going to move it over, like so. So it comes out into the right. And now we can go into our vert mode and adjust some of these verts to line them up a little bit. Like so.
Yeah, we can get this one here and take it back. Since we're not going to be up close on this, then there's really no reason to get really technical with it. I mean, if you want to, you can go into your edge mode and you can select these two edges and join them if it, if it you know, just makes you feel better. So now those are joined. Okay? But I'm not too concerned about it because we're just not going to be up and close and personal to this part of the model. So let's do a little tweaking here and line these up. Looks so. Looks okay. Now that's all joined, you see. And that wasn't necessary because these over here ain't joined. But that is how you'd go about doing that. Okay. So there goes our little entryway there. To our doorway. So let's go ahead and just make a, another cube. About like so. I'm going to thicken it out a little bit. And I'm going to select both sides. And I'm going to bevel it with the B key. And bevel it in. Oops. This is going to make a mirror. We're going to make a picture frame. Now let's bridge these to give us our picture frame. So let's select it. We'll move it up here onto this wall here. We'll translate it 90 degrees in the Y. Okay, now we'll a little closer to the wall there. And let's rotate it and just kind of skew it a little bit like that. There we go. Okay, and the next thing I guess we could do is we could roughly lay out and I want you to notice here I just put I just cop took another one of these here and put it along the bottom here. So let's go ahead here and let's get another cube. Maybe about that size. Like that. Now let's go in here and bevel this front face in. And I'm going to shift click and take it back like so. Then I can run a loop slice right up the middle at 50%. And that will run it down through there like that. Now I can get another cube and draw it like this. There's that. Now I'm going to go to my duplicate tab and hit the clone key and clone it twice, three times. Bring it down. Now we can individually scale these in, make them different sizes. Like so. And I'm going to put a loop slice up and down each one here at 50%. Right down the middle there. Okay. Now, I can go to my edge mode, or vert mode, whichever you prefer. I'm going to go to vert mode, and I'll select these two verts, and these back two, like so. Push them in. A little bit of a skewed look, and... We will go on finishing our crate and our scene in our um, next video because we're counting down here to our last few minutes. So let me go ahead and run a loop slice right up through there real, real quick. Like so. Now I can go back into vert mode. 
pull this down like so pull these in or out like that down okay now in our next video we're gonna go in and do some adjusting on these wood on these pieces of wood here okay okay and we'll finish up our touches on our box in our next video and put it in place and we will continue on thanks for watching